But if you're like me and if you're a parent and you have to work a lot and you just want something that you can play so you can explore, kill, build, destroy, you literally just type in God mode in the console commands. Item menu. Spawn any blueprint. Level help just so we can look because there's options. This will max you out. This will unlock everything instantly. Simply type help. It's also good while you're exploring. If you want to make life a little easier and type in map. Oh, okay, nope. So I can teleport to Atlantis. Here we go. So you just have to go to the Bloody Bucket Cantina to teleport to Atlantis. We, today, we are going to take a look at some of the ways you can benefit from playing Imperion when server wipes and or save files are getting destroyed. So I'm going to load up a brand new game. I'll just call this one the video file. And I am going to go over the different ways you can not so much restart your save files, but one of the things about Imperion that a lot of people have strayed away from is the fact that it is constantly breaking their save games or they're having issues with things like oh the server has to be wiped because there was a specific update so in theory there are times where people just don't want to even get into Imperium or even because they're not a fan of voxel survival games but I'm going to go over the top five best cheats or console commands to get you reset and started up. And I'm also going to go over ways how you can not get bored right off the start. Because a lot of people will sometimes load up a brand new game and they'll give themselves a brand new end game CV right off the bat. Or they turn around and give themselves all the level up upgrades so as you saw from the way I set the settings I set things a little bit fast and progressive and I also set it so it's got like CPU and weight on and these are great ways to still enjoy the game but once we get into this I will show you guys the different console commands and my one video that I posted two years ago has over 2,000 views and not realizing that it was poorly done because I didn't have video software editing, I didn't have any way of properly doing stuff with Imperion, but this time I can actually throw your, the on-screen commands on, so as we go about talking about them, we will, I will explain how to put those in, exactly what they do, and how you can manage your game save file without getting bored of it, because most people, they'll give themselves everything right off the bat and I don't recommend doing that sometimes it's better to go a middle ground instead of just forcing yourself to have endgame CV or having endgame SV or for instance a lot of people will just load up a capital ship and then start exploring without doing some of the stories and then they want to do the stories and it breaks their game now you have to make a choice either your new save file is gonna have the stories or what you can do is you can have the certain stories already done by select them in the solo missions. Alright, here we go. We are approaching Haven. There's so much fire. So much fire. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Da -na -na -da 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 -na -na. And now you'll probably notice um, I'm playing on the Reforged Eden Atlantis mod, which was developed by some Russian dude and mixed with Reforged Eden and you still have control of your escape pod so I have no idea if they're gonna change that with the new updates now you crash land the screen goes dark you're going what the hell is my game about to crash nope that's why it's on SSD you've awoken injured and stuff so I'm gonna hit proceed that way it's just gonna kinda load through some of those missions now, I will recommend, as it's doing its recollections on the top right side, I'm going to hit F1, go to solo missions, and I'm actually going to deactivate that. Oh, got that deactivated. So that, because it, it's literally just going to throw through a bunch of random on screen text stuff. But now that I deactivated it, it at least knows that at some point I can continue those missions. Now, another thing to go in mind, when you press F1, a lot of people don't realize this. Character class systems. But this is extremely useful and you can get a lot of benefit out of it. For instance, I usually go engineer, which gives more warp and more multi-tool multi, multi -tool purpose stuff. 
better harvesting. Here's my guy. I look smexy in my purple outfit. Look at that. Look at that butt. That is a nice butt. Even though I look like I'm a freaking android. Okay. So, the first console command we're going to go at, look at. The main one that I like to kind of start off with is God Mode. Which is easy. You literally just type in God Mode in the console commands. Now, the key for the console commands is right under your escape keyboard. Okay, so God Mode, as explains if you've ever played any other game lets you freely explore go around all over the place what the heck is this little oh it's the portals okay yeah yeah my bad I usually never go here I never look at the portal bloody bucket cantina this is like the number one good cheat to have that I like to enjoy but you just gotta be careful if you explore too fast or too much you will get like a low memory detected the second console command that we're going to quickly go over is the item menu or you could type I am that'll literally just enable and disable that so you can literally just type it or in same thing with God mode just hit GM God mode done or hit GM again disabled what item menu does you press H and it gives you the entire selection of everything now now here's where things get a little iffy don't go nuts don't be giving yourself all these epic guns I would say maybe give yourself a sniper rifle and the pulse rifle so start simple start small you don't need to go nuts and I have weight on so I'm actually gonna get rid of a half this ammo there we go that should be more than enough bullets same thing give myself some basic oh obtain oh that's interesting so yeah so it instantly skips it'll inst in um rea it'll kind of skip through the main missions and it'll give you the option to go straight to warping to the uch vessel in orbit and i'll just quickly show you that so in reforged eden you want to go to this location the uchn so you can start the reforged eden missions and start doing the surveys We'll get into that maybe some other episodes, for instance, doing the star survey missions, which is one of my favorites. It's like the greatest explore. The best thing about this game is the exploring the stars. There's over 25,000 stars, and when you play with the Reforged Eden Atlantis mod, you have this awesome... Here, I'll turn on territories. If you look way over there, kind of hard to see because it's kind of far... In between my little cursor, Asgard System Atlantis PvP. I highly recommend looking at my previous Imperium videos where I explored that. So, I have... Let's give myself just one more thing. I'll give myself some... Five emergency rations to start. Nothing too big. Give myself a little bit of extra med kit boost. Again, nothing super crazy. I'm going to give myself medium armor just because I can't put it on until I have anything. But I'm going to at least give myself this and that. Next, we are going to look at the spawn any blueprint. Now, no spaces, no capitals, just as is. All right. And what this does, as it literally seems and says, you can take whatever stuff. Now, I highly recommend don't spawn an endgame CV. So, for instance, like these crazy J. Randall f creations that I was constantly rocking on my past videos that are just godly quantumed. I'm going to spawn my own custom CV. Now, I don't have it set so you have to spawn on bases. Just because I usually just like to spawn in and then get off the planet. But this is only when I'm starting a, a new save file to continue what I was doing. Now, here's another tip. I've, acti I've already turned on the God Mode cheat. But if you hit G, you can actually re-enable the God Mode feature. Which allows you to literally just swipe it on and off. Very handy to have when you're playing single player. And if you're in a pinch and you don't want to die. But again, dying is part of this game. So get used to it. You will die a lot. So we're going to hit H again for our item menu stuff. And I'm just going to grab this basic stuff. I'm going to fill that and fill that. That's the fuel and oxygen fuel cells and O2. I'm just going to throw that out. And next, I'm going to fill the warp crystal tank. So that's done. And then throw that out. So I got a nice starting set for the ship. I'm going to turn on everything. I'm going to let that charge. Oh, I should probably also put on my armor. So I'll throw that on with the multi-booster. I'll keep that off 
or yeah, I'll throw that in the locker. Because running around with the EVA just... Uh, it's like trying to run around with a 50-pound gorilla on your back. Next cheat that we're going to look at. So we've covered the item menu. We've covered god mode. We've covered the spawn and the blueprint. Next one is the level up cheat. So we'll do level help just so we can look because there's options you can set your initial level to you can max it out at 25 which will give you everything on the tree now and here's the thing the, um, when you play reforged eat the one thing i want to mention there is the special asgard tech there's special research schematics and system upgrades if you hit the level 25 or type in level 25 for example i will actually show you so I have nothing unlocked, but I will start off with instead is level X plus and then add the number. So I'm just going to add uh, 5,000. That adds the XP onto your level up character. So I only gave him 5,000 XP, so I just leveled up a little bit. But if we really want to, you can set level U equals... Oh, that was a plus, my bad. And what this will do, as it says, set UP to initial. Now, those upgrade points that I need to unlock stuff, I'm going to set it to 5,000. I'm supposed to put a space in there. That's why. My bad. Okay, then. So, level U equals 5,000. So, perfect. So, I now have 5,000 unlock points. And what I'm going to do is unlock the stuff that I have. So, I don't have a lot unlocked to start with. And that'll kind of give you a basic idea of... This is all the Reforged Eden Atlantis tree stuff. So you got like Asgard Stargates. Who knows, I'll actually maybe try and find a Stargate at the end of this video. And we'll go through it and we'll teleport to the Asgard sector. And lastly, when we're looking at this level up. So we're just going to do the initial level equals 25, and this will max you out. This will unlock everything instantly. Boom. Everything is now done. It's going through all the different data packages that you would have unlocked if you have done this properly through, like, the actual grind. The good old dine and grind style. So as you can see, I now have everything unlocked. There is not a thing I have to worry about unlocking. Even like all the Asgard stuff, all the research, all system upgrades. So, and unfortunately, in my opinion, that can kind of take away some of the fun. In theory, the way to counter that is just give yourself the upgrade points. And then as you explore stuff, as you find stuff and kill stuff, you'll just level up really quickly anyway. Especially if you're starting off with a capital ship. Okay. So, and lastly, okay, let's test the Xyrax. Oh, no, so it doesn't work with Xyrax either, huh? Uh, okay, so I hate to say this, but I think this actual thing might be broken when using Reforged Eden Atlantis. I have no idea why it's doing that. I'll try one more time, faction. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so I was hoping to show you guys the how to set the faction rep, but it's not even, like, the example it gives you isn't even working, so it's probably broken. To some extent but lastly what if you want to get the list of all of these cheats in the console command simply type help into the console commands and it will load every single console command that you can have so you can have things like set position or uh, set device public reset core replace blocks even repair you, you name it there's so many cheats in this game that allow you to kind of utilize this game to be whatever you want to do if you want to just be the space pioneer and explore constant constellations explore different stars or if you're like me and you love to raid bunkers and go to the legacy infested stations and just fight aliens the whole time all right so like any space pilot pioneer or i guess you could say a buzz lightyear type of fan i like to just kind of explore this planet that i started on just so i can find those stargates so we will as a treat i will find us a stargate and we will go through it i know that i've already explained five cheats but one cheat that's also it's also good while you're exploring if you want to make life a little easier and type in map into this because right now i'm trying to find a portal on haven and that's apparently not going as well 
Yeah, I'm not seeing a Stargate on this planet, which is pretty awkward. Okay, so let's go to a different planet. Okay, so I couldn't find a Stargate on that one planet, so I'm going to go to Alpha 2. That's the whole fun of doing the Stargate, or Reforged Eden Atlantis, is having those Stargates, so you can go all the way to Atlantis to get your starter stuff. That's probably... Now, one thing to mention, anytime you use these console commands, your game is subject to crash a lot more easily. I've already gone ahead and given my capital ship the ammo that it required. Again, more advice. Um, if you're having weight and CPU on, the minute you go to add things like that, boom, now you can't, you can't put that down. So you gotta be careful. I've already gone ahead and given my ship just exactly what it needs it doesn't need a super a lot it is a pretty good amount of ammo f even so but either way this is my custom built capital ship this is actually my first capital ship that i ever built on imperion with 2.3 thousand hours on this game it finally took me that long to build a capital ship and it was I, I want to thank the Anectus Discord Gaming Adult Server for giving me the balls and the ability to finally man up and build my own ship because I'm so happy with this thing. I know a lot of people will say, oh, it's very blocky, it's very triangular. Well, your first capital ship in this game is going to look like a flying block most of the time, especially when you build in survival. So I just want to give a nice big shout out to those guys at the Anectus Discord for their teachings, for showing me how to use different systems, making the spacing. All right, so just like before, I'm gonna hit map. And now I know where everything is on this map. So I'm gonna take a little look. There's a Stargate, yeah, buddy. All right, so we are going to head to that Stargate. Now keep in mind, you probably noticed I haven't spawned any SV or small vessel or HV hover vessel. Because in theory, I'm going, if I am going to continue the save, I'll probably just build a fresh one because this ship has the ability to mine asteroids. Those two very middle lasers are asteroid drills, so I could at least go about mining. Oh my god, I keep having the look around fail. Look around lighting failure. Anyway, I could just easily mine some asteroids, get them components, get all the stuff, literally fly around and have the fun of the exploration bit of this game. Most people I find play Imperion simply for the combat and the spaceship combat. They look at it like it's the space engineers without the cool crashing of space engineers. <laughs> oh, okay, it's probably just because of the camera and all the cheats that I've enacted. Because it does, it will affect your game in the long run, so I do recommend once you load in your save file, then before you use any cheats, make a backup save, just in case you end up liking that seed and you really want to give it a try again type of thing. It's always good to backup, especially with this game. So, welcome to the Stargate. One of many Stargates, you'll find a Stargate on almost every planet you go to and in fact i went to the legacy home world on the anectus discord and actually ended up finding a stargate there which was pretty impressive so we're going to talk to the station console ancient gate of asgard allows you to travel to very long distances to activate the address you must first visit it you can find these gates throughout the universe all right here we go ah oh, interesting Okay, so I do have to go discover the Asgard system before I can warp there. Maximum teleport range is 10,000. Okay, so yeah, no, in theory, I would have to tele I'd have to go to Asgard first, and then I could teleport through the gate. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, that's interesting. I never actually got to use a teleporter in the Anectus Discord. I was too busy trying to get my capital ship and my infrastructure, because this game is a grind. I highly recommend that if you're going to play the game on single player, try the story out, get a good rough feel for it, even though it is all about to update and it's a little bit behind. All right, so I'm going to try teleporting to some random station. Your reputation is not good enough. Oh, well, sucks to suck. Let's go to Haven. Portals, admin, and we'll teleport. We are now teleporting to the portals on back on Haven, that where we started. Okay, so I am now at the Bloody Bucket Cantina. <laughs> Quite the uh, impressive looking place, I guess you could say. Oh, okay, nope. So I can teleport to Atlantis. Here we go. So you just have to go to the Bloody Bucket Cantina to teleport to Atlantis. Okay, I actually, I'm learning more stuff more and more now. This is interesting. So we are now 
Ah, we have now made it to the Atlantis Space Station. Captain Narayan, who is actually, that's the actual name of the person who created the Reforged Eden Atlantis. Namaste. So, we come to the back here. You see this middle locker. This is where you can get starting loot. Asgard container. Look at all this glorious loot. Look at that. So much good stuff. These nanite medical robots are a godsend to have. They are awesome. And you can have the armor locker right beside so you can set your stuff. Alrighty. I am now well contained. You have your research computer stuff here as well. You even have a schematic computer so you can turn in that stuff. Oh, that is so, this is a very nice space station. If you want to see the rest of the space station, make sure to check out my video going to Atlantis or the journey to Atlantis. That way you can get a nice good look. Alrighty, folks, I'm going to leave it there. I hope this was enough information to help you enjoy Imperion Reforged Eden Atlantis. I know the servers are all being wiped. Everything is being reset. So everyone's kind of sitting on the fringe lines of going, okay, I want to play Imperion. I want to get back into the grind. But if you're like me, and if you're a parent, and you have to work a lot, and you just want something that you can play so you can explore, kill, build, destroy, I highly recommend checking out Imperion. Now, in vanilla Imperion, it's a good game, but let's be honest, games are better with mods. Games are always a lot better with mods nowadays, I find. So, I hope you enjoyed this Imperion. I'm going to try and edit this down as much as I can. Thank you again to the Nectus Discord Gaming for all your awesome stuff, for all your awesome feedback, and thank you for subscribing. I am about to hit 1,000 subscribers, and I am happy about it. As always, stay safe, and stay happy.